Hey, what's going on guys? Boom here. Back with another three-way episode. Today we have... Oh my gosh. Uh, today we have a Monster Smasher. That's how it works. Um, it's decently big. I like to put this normally in front of my house, like a walkway to my house. I'll do that and it makes the house a lot safer. So we'll get into making it. Alright, so let's get this started. Uh, we will start off with so grab some sand, grab some glass. Alright, we'll start off with beginner. Pretty simple. Start off. You can you really use any block, you don't have to use glass. I use I like to use glass just because uh, I'll get to see if there's anything inside of here because monsters are gonna walk into here. I just like to see if there's anything in there. So we want to make it like that. We will add this. All right, and then we want either sand or gravel. It's gonna. This is what's gonna fall and actually crush them. Get rid of those. All right. So this is um. This is for creepers and zombies. If you want, you can make it for endermen. It's actually pretty easy. All you have to do is make everything one higher. And then you get breaking material right there. And then you stack three like that. There, now it's tall enough for endermen. It might be hard to get them in there to actually use, but it will work. And the way this works is you lure them into this hole. Then you go up here and knock out that block and then sit here and watch and they die and that's how it works so we get this doot, doot, doot. Right, set up again and then we will move on Let's see you don't need sand anymore uh, then we will move on to intermediate it's going to be a lot like this one except it's much easier to reset. Start off, I um, don't recommend using glass for all of it. Some parts are okay to use glass, most aren't, because we're gonna be putting redstone and pistons down and you can't put redstone on glass. So start off. So you'll make this for just regular Actually, let's make an Enderman one. Change my game plan. This will be for both Enderman and and pretty much everything but um, spiders. Yeah, it's gonna be a little tricky, but I think I can do it. I just might have to cut the video because I'll be figuring stuff out. Okay, so I've come up with a couple designs. Took quite a while. Um, I'm gonna stick with this one. This one it worked great for regular creatures like creepers, scullies, and zombies, but for Endermen it barely did anything. Um, and then I said, "Hey, why make it so complicated? Let's just make it real simple." So this is the layout. It's not too hard. Uh, this is just intermediate. For me, it feels like expert because it's taken such a long time. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with we're going to need the chamber that they actually walk into. This. I tried to test this out on a Enderman. It didn't work out, so hopefully uh, when nightfall comes, I can show you guys, and actually test it with you guys, see if it actually works. Okay. So apparently I'm in a spot where slime spawn. So I'll turn that off for now. And then... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Knock these out. Uh, 
We need more. There we go. Alright, so we got some sticky pistons. Favorite pistons. Uh, I don't do much with the regular pistons. There are a couple inventions that I got. Alright, so we got the basic setup like this. And there's going to be two ways that we're going to be able to trigger this. We can either hit a switch, which I'm not a fan of. I would rather have them do the work for me, the actual uh, guys that are going to die. Or they're going to step on a pressure plate and make sure this is at full. Or they're going to right away. There we go. This portion of the trap is done. You could stop here and you could just use this. I had to get complicated, of course, because that is how I like it. And then, let's see, get our pressure plate. And you're going to want, again, um, you could use either wood or stone, but I prefer stone. Okay, so going to make this yay deep, three deep, and then we're going to need it to, actually going to need to go right here, going to need to go this one, right next to the pistons, like that, do 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 do, all right, so this should be the right setup. We're going to set up a inverter. So we're going to need that. <laughs> oh, wait, actually this. Um, yeah, like this. Clear some of the stuff out of the way. Clear that for now. All right, so inverter is going to go here, right underneath that block that I said we need. And then we're going to place that block back and redstone. Okay, so when we hook up the inverter, this is going to automatically turn off. Like that. So now they're closed. So now, every time something steps on the pressure pad, oh wait, we got to hook it up to this. There. There, now every time it's going to close on them. And that is, right, and that's uh, how you can do it in two different ways. Actually, turn that back to hard. There. Right, so, this is intermediate. Next one we're going to do is the one that you actually saw at the beginning of the video, uh, which you can do multiple monsters at once. That's one of my favorites. We'll start way out here. Two, three, four. We'll start with six. And then we're going to need room for a block. And there's going to be uh, two space so you can, spiders can actually come in here. And then another block, and then pistons are going to go right here. Oops. Alright, so we fill this in with do 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 to do 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 Fill this in with stone or whatever. You can use dirt. I uh, don't recommend sand. You can use sand, but you're going to get, uh, I don't know, I don't like the look. That we, that we have to get if we use sand. Alright. Then we're going to want to put a lip like that so spiders can't climb over. Alright, got that. So now it's nice and neat. Oh, Enderman. Where do you go? Uh, no, no. Uh, I'm gonna go back. We'll get him when night hits. Finish this. 
Alright, these are for our repeaters. Make the pistons go off. Do the same exact thing to this side. Then line that with redstone. Oops, did I accidentally... Nope. Okay. So, we got this. Now what we want to do is connect both sides. We can conceal it if we want. I always like stuff hidden like this so you don't see the redstone. And we're going to set up a button. And we're gonna, all we're going to do is it's going to be one button and then you set it long enough to kill them. Okay. So now actually we should probably connect them first. Let me go over one, two, three, four, five, six. Over one more. Let's see. Where are we at? Perfect. Nope, not perfect. That was terrible. So we gotta go over. And then bring this signal up. Like so. Connect it. Alright, so we got that. And then we need to start the signal over here. So, do the same exact thing. And connect it. Alright, so we got that nice and connected. So this is the point where we could just leave it. Ah, I know what the problem is. Now, now they both work. All right, we could just leave it like this and it'll work just fine. Only thing is, we close it, wait for them to die, then open it again. I'm lazy and I don't like to do that. So what we're going to do is set up more complicated, a lot more complicated actually. Do 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 do. Let's get some glowstone. I think's up here. There's. Okay, so we got our glowstone. Just light up the area. And what we're going to do? We're going to put our RS nor latch down here. So we can uh, set a timer. Ooh, we don't want that. We'll be able to set a timer and then uh, we just push the button once when we run through. Do, 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 do. So this is how this is going to work. We're going to get an original signal. That is going uh, to come through here. Not like that, it's a bad idea. We'll hook that up in a minute. First, we want to get our si or What's this? Oh, <laughs> that's to our other trap. 
It's our other our snow match. Is this one safe? I don't think so. Might run into something here. Actually, looks like it's good. All right, you want to set up about 30 repeaters. You can do 28, 29, 30 repeaters at full, and that's how long it takes to kill a monster. Well, this should be good. Let me connect it back here. Done. Do 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 do. Alright, so we'll do this. Put that there. Oh, that's annoying. And now we'll connect our signal. So this should do it. Let's go test it out. Let's see if this works. Um, hmm. Guess so let's try a creeper. I hate testing things out on creepers. If they even follow me. There we go. And wait for it, and bam. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. That's why I don't like testing on creepers. <laughs> Did he really... Come on, Creeper. I'll try this again. You know what? That is what you get. Let's try something a little less menacing. Come on, zombie. Come on, zombie. Alright. Now we'll see if he ever gets through there. If this works. Come on. Come on. Definitely dying. Cool, that works great. So that is expert version of this trap. Let's get a freaking Enderman. Actually, I'll show you. I know this other one works. Oh, intermediate. See, didn't have to do a thing all the monsters and when he dies since it's stone oh he didn't drop anything anyway but since it's stone pa um, plate these just retract let's get a freaking enderman over here there's one okay got his attention Okay. Yeah, don't recommend using expert for Enderman. Uh, intermediate is really your best shot. Come on. There we go. Hey! Don't steal any freaking blocks either. I've had him do that. I've set a trap for an Enderman, a specific one. Uh, it was a water trap. And he started stealing my blocks. And it started flooding. And broke it. Okay, he took a long time. And they dropped nothing. So, we will try one more. 
We'll just I'll show you that our beginner works. It's kind of obvious it does because the other ones work. And they're pretty much based off the beginner, uh, the main design of it. So yeah, beginner and inter intermediate um, are good for just the regular monsters. And really the only one that's good for spiders and what's good for spiders is the uh, the expert level. So yeah, that has been another episode of Three Way. This is my piston squash trap, I guess I'll call it. Oh, and this one actually drops them. So yeah, uh, tell me what you think. Tell me if there's anything specific you want to see done. Um, if you've seen any videos of stuff done and you want to know how they did it, I can give it a shot, see if I can figure out how they did it. So yeah, let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next episode.